Hi! Hello my Eurovision friends! Welcome to a new video! First of all, Happy New Year everybody! Wishing you all the best for this 2024 and hoping we can respect each other a bit more and hoping we can find more peace and happiness for all the people in the world. So as you know, there are many returning artists in national finals this year and I thought it would be great to review and comment their Eurovision entries. And we'll start with Laura Laura Poltvere from Estonia. She was one of the first comebacks announced and I'm sure you know her. She's been participating in Estilal many times. I think I've counted seven or eight times. And also last year she participated also in from Finland because I think now she lives in Finland. This year she is currently participating in Estilal in the Estonian national final again in solo with the song Here's where I draw the line, which is one of my favorites from the national final. And I've just discovered she's been in Eurovision twice for Estonia. Of course, the one we all remember, uh, Verona with Koi Tome. That was in 2017. But she was also there in 2005 with a girl band called Sun Tribe and Let's Get Loud. So she's been at Eurovision twice, but she has failed to qualify in both times. So wishing her a third time lucky, right? Let's review the songs together. So this is Koi Tome and Laura Verona, Estonia, 2017 semifinal two, Verona. Oh, I didn't remember they had this uh, microphone issue. It's beautiful, this effect that the lights turn on the moment the music starts, but her vocal sound started a bit after. Let's replay. Yeah, it's a pity because the, the beginning was beautiful. Beautiful dress, very romantic. This song is so beautiful, I really love it. Looking like a ballad queen here. And <sighs> recoit appearance. Oh, this floor effect is really beautiful. <sighs> he's like doing catwalk, like he's a model or something. <laughs> Very elegant in his suit also. His falsettos. Oh, dirty drama. Laura's face projections. Oh yes, I remember this. <laughs> this is what I remembered the most from this performance, which is at the same time great and awful. <laughs> I mean, it's great the change of camera shots with the music. But Koi looks, I mean, why did he put these faces? <laughs> He's like trying to seduce the camera, but I don't know. Well, maybe for, for you it's working, but for me it's the opposite feeling. I'm sorry. <laughs> pay, pay attention to this. Lost. Lost. <laughs> We lost the burner. Look at him. And this is smile. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the floor effect. So beautiful with her in the middle. 
Yeah, she's the star here. We never had enough. I love the song and I love the lightnings. So beautiful. Oh my god. Oh no. But not with you, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, who thought it was a good idea? These coit shots and looks and smiles. I mean. And yeah, now at this point, come on. I mean, I know it's a love story and they have to pretend they're lovers and so, but who is believing in this scene? I mean, no, I, I, I love the song, but. Well, I'll tell you at the end. Okay, woohoo! Some things to comment here. First of all, as I said, the song was beautiful. I really love it. And I think vocally they were good too. Visually, I love the lights effect playing like with uh, lights and shadows, very elegant. I'm not a big fan of projected faces on the background. I hate it, but this time it was for short, for only for some seconds and it was more subtle. I can accept it, but in my opinion, they had two major issues here. That's what I remembered from this performance, in fact. For me, Laura or Laura did everything perfect. She's a 10 out of 10, but I'm sure it's not Coit's fault. I don't know whose idea it was, but for me, the big issue here was Coit faces, smiles, looks like, oh, this, oh, trying to see that the camera and, and the, the smiles were too much and then they were not credible or believable as a couple, right? You didn't believe this love story, so that's a big problem because it's a love song and you have to sell this story, right? But I don't know. <laughs> I mean, COVID faces were funny to see and yeah, you remember it, but I don't know who thought it was a good idea. Because, in fact, uh, someone uh, who produced this liked it because you can do it just in some part, but they kept repeating it. So someone enjoyed these camera shots and call it smiles. But yeah, I'm not much convinced about it. Anyway, it was a pity they didn't qualify because I really, really like the song. Now it's your turn. Tell me what do you think in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.